G'day guys, today's video, really short one. I uh, just had to make something to make something, so I thought I'd video it while I was doing it. So let's have a look at it, eh? Found a new use for the crane. Do some whack. Someone said it's a tiny dick. Bit of a tight budget on this one. So now I've just got to tidy it up. It's all uh, welded on and cooled down. So I put a socket on the top, uh, an old socket, uh, made in Taiwan. Yeah, they're the best ones that you use. So I've just got to give it a bit of a clean up, wire brush, flapper wheel. So that sits nicely on top of on top of the lathe on the adjustable slide. So all I've got to do now is make something for the tool. To sit in something that comes out that way and maybe a grub screw or something I'm not sure I've got nearly, nearly 10 mil in there and I've purposefully not welded that just in case I have to cut that part out to let the tool go in and out of there so we'll um, oh yeah the other little piece I've got to do is this is the uh, slide and so forth I've made a um, a bolt down for it because it need to be solid to this so this is actually an old shock absorber bolt <laughs> uh, that bolts onto the car and I've just ground the side of it and machined the bottom off I've just popped it in the lathe and machined the bottom off so but I need it to not turn so that's what it looked like and when you do the nut up it just spins so I've just ground the side off and I've just got a little bit of flat bar so I can either just sit it in there and that'll that'll certainly work but what I might do is just weld it onto there so then it'll be a permanent piece and I don't need this for anything else 
So I'll tack weld that on, clean the other up and see if we can work out where to put the, the cutting tip. Here we go. <laughs> This is it so far. Uh, I've got that bit, uh, the high speed steel with a little grub screw on the top there, and that sort of works like that. Just use a breaker bar at the moment, that's all I can sort of think of, it'll be easiest, and you can just swing it around as needed without running into the chuck. So, I think I'm gonna have to. Cut out where the, so I can get all the way around the front. I've tried to move the um, the whole base. I turn it to this corner. I turn it to the end. I've turned it to the to the other end. I put it on that corner. I still can't get it where it does the main part of the ball. So I think I've, I don't have any option is, I've got to at least cut it out for where the nut is. If you can see, the nut itself has to, well, what was a nut? Now yeah, it's the boss of the uh, high speed tool, high speed steel tool. The cutting tip, I'll just mark around that. Hook into it with a grinder. I don't know how far back I should go, like, do I always have to use this size uh, piece of tool steel? I don't know. Um, if I had a couple of old short bits, that would probably be more ideal. I'll have a little look for that. I don't have to use 10 mil, although the, I've filed it out to 10 mil square, so it would be more ideal. But anyway, we'll uh, cut it out and sort of see where it goes. Hopefully, uh, we can get it to swing all the way around. That'd be really nice. Anyway, let's get into that.
so there we have it it's all ground uh, or cut out should we say I found this uh, bit of tool steel uh, amongst all my stash and I've ground it to the right shape uh, it's a bit hard to tell the right profile if it'll focus there we go we can focus there no wants to focus on the background anyway so now the reason I did just didn't cut it off really short was because what if I want to do a really small ball um, the way to measure how big you want your diameter of your ball is you go to the from the tip you get it on there go from the tip the cutting tip right the very edge of the cutting tip right out to say the center line of this one up here and that one down there so if you imagine an imaginary line from there to there it's not exact on this one because I don't do exacts I just do pretty close anyway so and that gives me about 40 mil so if you times that by two that's 80 mil that's 80 mil sphere it's camera will focus there we go so and I can make it down to if I undo that screw if I can find the allen key there we go Ooh. so if I push that right in and do that up let's grab the tape and the ruler again So that would be about 20. Come on camera. There we go. So that's pretty close to 20, probably 18. I could probably push that tool in a bit more. If it was a um, if it was to be smaller than that, so 20 mil means double it for the whole radius is uh, you know 40 mil. So if I wanted even smaller again, I could just put a longer a longer piece of tooling in there and you'd nearly get right down to 10 mil that one's sort of ground I just ground it before so I could get it an extra little bit there if need be I could probably 80 mil down to a 10 mil sphere not that you'd want to do one that small like what do you need knobs for Pfft. there's knobs everywhere so anyway, um, put in the comments below whether you think I should paint it or not. Give it a Larry colour, like the old drill breath. It's pretty Larry, nice and red and fast. So maybe I should put a bit of colour on it. I don't know. Leave a comment below on what colour you think I should uh, give it to. And then uh, I'll see if I can find something to make into a ball. Oh, hang on. That's right. I'm doing a project. So, anyway, I'll uh, finish the video with a little bit of ball turning. So, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one, eh? See ya.